everyone welcome you back in my geography class i hope all of you are doing well today we will discuss on the topic of eighth sex pyramid from the chapter population composition of class 12 in the earlier video we have already discussed about the eighth sex composition where we get to know that the population is divided into three groups number one children between 0 to 14 years adults or the population under the working age that is between 15 to 59 years and the aged population that is above 60 years. In this video, we will know about the eighth sex pyramid. So now let us understand what do you mean by eighth sex pyramid. Here you can see a graphical representation. This is a diagram or a graphical representation where we can see that age, these are the age. 0 to 4, 5 to 9, that means these are the age groups which are represented and here we can see the graphs are represented which shows that how many people belong to this age, so 0 to 4, 5 to 9, 10 to 14, this way. Now what does this graphical representation call? This is called H6 pyramid. So what is H6 pyramid? It is graphical representation to show distribution of various age groups in a population. So what is an age sex pyramid? It is a graphical representation to show the distribution of various age groups in a population. We can see distribution of various age groups are shown in this graphical distribution. The left side represents male population and the right side represents female population. So we can say that age sex pyramid also shows the number of males and females in a country. Eight sex pyramid tells us about the characteristics of the population. So what does eight sex pyramid shows? It shows distribution of various age groups in a population, the number of males and females in a country and also tells us about the characteristics of the population. Now as we can see the number of males and females or the distribution of various age groups. Now what it does it means like how the distribution is increasing, how the population is increasing or decreasing. So we can say that its experiment is the cumulative of past trend in birth rate, death rate and migration. That means that here as you are showing the distribution of various age groups in a population and this has resulted from what? From the birth rate, death rate and migration. So age 6 pyramid is a cumulative of past trend in birth rate, death rate and migration. Now let us know that why do we need age 6 pyramid or what is the importance of age 6 pyramid? Now let us understand the importance or the characteristics of the eight sex pyramid. So eight sex pyramid is what is a graphical representation. Now this help us to understand to improve by seeing the pyramid by seeing the distribution of population and make comparison that means we can compare easily make comparison easy 
So we can compare that in a country, how many males are there and how many females are there. So we can understand by seeing the eight sex pyramid that maybe the conditions which are required for increase in female population is not there. Maybe negative conditions prevail. We can understand that maybe if there is less number of male, so we can get an idea that maybe there is high rate of migration. So different ideas we can get by visualizing the graphical representation that is eight sex pyramid. It also tell us that how many number of dependents are there in the country. It also tells us that how many number of dependents are there in a country. The shape of the pyramid, you can see the shape of the pyramid, the shape of the pyramid tells the story of the population or the people living in that country. Now when the H6 pyramid displays growing population, sometimes we will see that they have a distinctive type shape. That means the shape of the pyramid is distinctive from other pyramid. So we can say that when they displays growing population, they have distinctive pyramid shape. So by seeing the shape of the pyramid, we can understand the condition of the people living there. We get an idea about the population. We get an idea that what are the negative factors which are leading to increase in population or decrease in population or there are a large number of population in the age group between 0 to 4 or 20 to 24 or there are a large number of population between 70 to 75. What are the reasons for this? So when we show a growing population, the shape of the pyramid is distinctive. Now let us know that what does this pyramid reflects or what does it shows. Now we can look at the eight sex pyramids. Now what does it shows? Here at the base this portion shows the number of children. As it will be more wide that means the number of children is more. That means the birth rate is high. The middle, that means from 15 to 59, we will see the middle portion. It represents the working population. The top of the pyramid represents aged population. If the top of the pyramid will be narrow, then it means the death rate is high. So by looking at the pyramid, we get an idea about the birth rate, about the death rate and also about the working population. If in a country the death rate is high and birth rate is also high, that means the country is less developed country. In a country where there is low birth rate and there is low death rate, that means it will create a lot of pressure for the working population. In a country where the birth rate will be equal to death rate, in that country the population will increase but at a constant rate. That means the increase in population is stationary or we can say that is a constant population. So with the help of the pyramid, we can understand that how many number of male and female are there in a country. We can understand that how many number of dependents are there in the country. We can get an idea about the birth rate, about the death rate and also about the working population. So eight sex pyramid is an important tool by which we can understand the population composition. And demographers use this eight sex pyramid to understand and to compare that the which countries have high death rate and which countries have low 
low death rate what are the reasons for the high death rate what are the reasons for the low death rate which are the countries where population is growing very rapidly which are the countries where there is a slow growth in population which are the countries where the population is constant or sterile that all can be understood only with the help of this graphical representation that is eight sex pyramid now eight sex pyramid are divided into three types we will know about three types of eight sex pyramid the three types of age sex pyramid that we will read are expanding population pyramid constant population pyramid and declining population pyramid so the three types of 86 pyramid that we will read are expanding population pyramid constant population pyramid and declining population pyramid now let us know about the three types of population pyramid in details as we discussed that there are three types of eight sex pyramid now let us know in details about the three types of eight sex pyramid now we will know about the first type of eight sex pyramid which is expanding or expansive eight sex pyramid here you can see a illustration of eight sex pyramid of nigeria now by looking at the shape of the pyramid what we can understand the shape of the pyramid is triangular the base of the pyramid is broad and the apex is narrow now what does the triangular shape pyramid illustrate the triangular shape pyramid with a wide base and a narrow apex is typical of less developed countries here the eight six pyramid that we can see is of nigeria other less developed countries with expanding pyramid are mexico and bangladesh it depicts expanding population as we can see that the base is wider so it means that in the lower age group the population is quite high which means the birth rate is high and what are the causes for this high birth rate it is probably due to the factors like developing economy poverty low levels of female education and less awareness of birth control measures now as we can see that the apex of the pyramid is narrow thus it indicates high death rate that means life expectancy is low now what are the reasons for this high death rate the reasons are poor living conditions lack of medical facilities which may be responsible for high mortality rate among the elderly in such countries we can see that there are higher population of children compared to the working and the old age this results in a strain on the working age population to support larger younger population making them work in stressful conditions so the shape of the pyramid reflects expanding population thus it is reflecting the characteristics of the population now let us know about the next type of population pyramid that is constant or stationary population pyramid with the word stationary or constant we can well understand that the countries who represent this population pyramid there the population growth is stable neither rapid nor very slow now let us understand what does the population pyramid explains by looking at the diagram of the population pyramid now by looking at the diagram of the population pyramid we can understand that the shape of the population pyramid is bell shaped so the population pyramid is bell shaped and it is tapered at the top so it is bell shaped and tapered towards the top 
with almost the same number of people in all age groups thus this population pyramid shows that the birth rate is equal to the death rate which means leading to a near constant population like in australia and this population pyramid which is illustrated here it is a population pyramid of australia now as we can see that at the top it is slightly tapper which is perfectly natural why due to more death rates now why the death rates are occurring occurring among the elderly such countries have a high life expectancy where more people live to a ripe old age due to better living conditions and medical facilities and geriatric care they also have a stable rate of birth why because here they have more awareness in the use of birth control measures along with the empowerment of women such a pyramid shows a stable increase in the country's population with time it can also be regarded as a population pyramid which is showing an unchangeable pattern of fertility and mortality now let us look at the last type of population pyramid that is declining or constrictive population pyramid this population pyramid are represented by an eight six pyramid which has a narrow base as you can see in the diagram that is illustrated here that here we have a narrow base and the tapper top and a wider central part which means slighter constriction in the younger age this indicates low birth rate and low death rate with higher percentage of people in the middle age so we can well understand that the base is narrow and the top is tapered whereas the central portion is wider which indicates low birth rate and low death rate with higher percentage of people in middle age this population pyramid is typical of the developed countries like japan now this population pyramid which is illustrated here it is of japan which shows an aging population with the majority of people between the age group of 30 and 70 There are also significant numbers of people especially women over 90 in Japan. Their life expectancy is high as the living conditions is good leading to a higher number of older people than youth in the country which places a burden on the working age population to support the large number of elderly dependents. Despite this there is a lesser number of birth taking place which is outnumbered by the number of deaths the decrease in the number of births indicates that people are choosing to have less children level of illiteracy technologically advanced may also be due to increased emigration this indicates declining population with zero or negative growth rate I hope all of you understood about the three types of population pyramid the expanding population pyramid the stationary or constant population pyramid and the declining population pyramid so in this video what we have learned in this video we have learned about the eight six pyramid what do you mean by eight six pyramid what are the importance of eight six pyramid that means why do we need the eight six pyramid what are the characteristics of eight six pyramid also we came to know about three different types of eight six pyramid which gives us information different structures of the pyramid we get to know that how are the living conditions what is the number of male and female in some particular countries and and why they are called expanding population pyramid constant population pyramid and declining population pyramid i hope you people understood it very well there in the description box a pdf is attached on this chapter you can go through the pdf which will give you more detailed information on the chapter if you have any problem or any suggestion you can comment in the comment box given below if you like my video do share it with your friends and don't forget to like my video if you are new to my channel do subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get further notification of my upcoming videos stay tuned i will be back soon with the next topic from this chapter till then stay at your home and stay safe thank you mm -hmm.